Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And it's Christmas, everyone. Woo! I send much Christmas cheer in your general direction. Uh, may it be a blessed one. Um, it's also um, coming towards the end of the One Year Bible. In fact, this is going to be my last vlog for 2016. Very sad, but uh, 2017 is coming. And, uh, and we're getting towards the end of the One Year Bible, if you've been on this journey with me. Um, and I'd like to read a passage which I believe to be fitting from today's reading, Revelation chapter 10, verses 8 and following. It says this, Then the voice from heaven spoke to me again, Go and take the open scroll from the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went to the angel and, and told him to give me the small scroll. Yes, take it and eat it, he said. It will be sweet as honey in your mouth, but it will turn sour in your stomach. So I took the small scroll from the hand of the angel and I ate it. It was sweet in my mouth, but when I swallowed it, it turned sour in my stomach. Then I was told, you must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, languages and kings. Over the Christmas period, we're going to be eating lots of lovely things, I hope. Um, lots of dele delectable things, luxury items, you know, our turkey and cranberry sauce and our Yorkshire puddings and roast parsnips and potatoes and... Uh, Christmas pudding and Yule log and an awful lot of chocolate, uh, maybe some Brussels sprouts in there. Not so nice, but you know, you've got to do it. It's right of passage, but lots of lovely things. And then, of course, by Boxing Day, we're feeling slightly bloated uh, and there's a sense of vague shame and guilt um, related to how much food we've eaten. Uh, and we enjoyed it going down, but now we feel a little bit bloated. And, we, and that's why in January, people kind of get into their exercise regimes to work off all those pounds they've collated over the Christmas period. And, and as we uh, read this uh, feast on this word from God that we have been doing this year, it has been sweet on our lips in many ways, brought joy and encouragement and strength and challenge to us. But it also brings sometimes a sourness to the stomach, as it did for John here, a, a, a kind of bloatedness that, that pushes us into action. And for John, that meant exercising prophetic ministry again. Verse, uh, verse 11, you must go prophesy again about many people's nations, languages and kings. And, and in a sense that the Bible is not just for eating, it's for working through into reality. And it means that we have to get our running shoes on and, as it were, work this stuff through. The Bible gives us energy and challenge and uh, impetus. And we need to kind of move that through into reality in our lives. It gives us a burden, perhaps, sometimes that we feel in our guts that needs to be worked out. So this this week, perhaps as you approach Christmas, think about all the things you've learned and absorbed from Scripture and ask yourself what God might be wanting you to do with that in 2017. In the meantime, have a very happy Christmas and I'll see you in the new year.